I was delighted to wake up to a sunny day on Christmas Eve, especially since it has been a rough few weeks. The kids were plagued with a flu virus that left them ill for seven to nine days. Thankfully, they feel so much better today, so I will make them a special breakfast. The holidays tend to bring a lot of joy and excitement, as well as sadness, especially for those coping with a loss. My heart goes out to you, wherever you are. Why does it always stick to the top?
Who are you barking at? Let's see. Let's see who you're barking at. There's a deer out there. I see two. Oh, I think you scared them. Oh, nope, they're still there. This is for we got a visitor. Everybody. I tend to set a lot of unrealistic goals for myself. Such as staying on top of the laundry so my son won't run out of clean socks. Getting ahead of meals so the kids are not starving when I start to prepare food. Going to bed at a decent time so I am not tired the next day. Feeding my mind and soul by learning more creating art, and producing more quality videos. To be honest, I feel like a failure a lot of the time. Feeling the pressure to be the perfect mother is quite overwhelming. Ultimately, I have accepted that I cannot do it all, and I am at peace with that. I know that I am not alone. I am going to celebrate my successes and learn from my failures. Life is meant to be experienced. Without struggles, there would be no striving to be better, to overcome, to acquire the skills and strength to evolve as people. These are struggles that make us beautiful. We adopted a puppy in November because my husband has been having dog fever. We call her Snowy because she reminds us of fresh snow. She was found on the streets of Mexico by Amazing Dogs Rescue Team. I got covers for the couch since it could easily be washed in case of accidents. She is so sweet and we are thankful to have her as an addition to our little family.
You need help? I found a recipe online for pesto baked salmon with roasted cherry tomatoes. It looks so good, so I am making it for Christmas dinner. Let's have a glass of wine before we start. I will pair it with some stir-fried crunchy green beans and garlic. The dinner will be held at my in-law's home with a special guest friend. I am always a bit nervous with my cooking, even though it usually turns out pretty tasty. I will include the link to the recipe in the description, but for now, please enjoy ASMR cooking session.
smells very nice in here. Wow. Green beans, I just uh, sauteed it with some heavy garlic and mm. avocado oil and a tiny bit of soy sauce. Delicious.